Welcome to RK Tutorials, Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timoshenko Textbook. In this tutorial, we are discussing problem set 2.4 and problem number 2.59. Determine the axial force induced in each bar of the system shown in the figure. P is the force is acting at point A. Because of this force, I would like to find the various forces in the bars 1, 3, 4, 5, and 2. P is the force acts like this. Now, let us consider the free body diagram at A. There are three forces. One force is the applied force P. Another force is the force in the bar AC. And it is initially we are assuming it is tensile. So, it is away from point A. And let the magnitude is S3. And this force magnitude is S1. Let us transfer all these three onto a separate XY plane. So, here you can find P, S1 and S3. And let us assume that S3 makes an angle theta, but we don't know the value of theta. But assume that this makes an angle theta with the horizontal. So, you can resolve this S3 into two components. One is S3 cos theta, horizontal direction. S3 sin theta, vertical direction. Now, here you can see sigma Fy is equal to 0. But there is only one force that means S3 sin theta must be equals to 0. Theta cannot be 0. Hence, what is the other alternative? S3. S3 must be equal to 0. So, you know that S3 is equal to 0. And if you apply sigma Fx is equal to 0, so S1 plus S3 cos theta is equal to P. But we know that S3 is equal to 0. Hence, you can say S1 is equal to P. Now, let us consider the free body diagram at B. There are, once again, three forces. One is the force in the bar BD. Let this force is S2. Next force is the force in the bar BC. Let this force is S5. Next force is the applied force P. Let us transfer all these three forces onto separate XY plane. And let us assume that S5 makes an angle beta with the horizontal. So, the, we can resolve these S5 along x-axis and y-axis. So, the horizontal component we can say S5 cos beta, vertical component S5 sin beta. By using sigma Fy is equal to 0, we can say S5 sin beta is equal to 0 or you can say S5 is equal to 0. And sigma Fx is equal to 0. So, S2 plus S5 cos beta must be equals to P and we know that S5 is equal to 0 or you can say S2 is equal to P. Next, let us consider the free body diagram at D. Once again, there are three forces. One force is S1. Already you know that S1 is equal to P. Another force is S4 acts along DC and the another force is S2 acts along DB and you know that that value is also equals to P. I am transferring on to separate XY plane. Let us assume that S4 makes an angle uh, alpha with the horizontal. We know that S1 is equal to P and S2 is equal to P. Our interest is to find S4. So you can resolve the force S4 along the horizontal component that is S1 cos alpha and the vertical component S1 sin alpha. By using sigma Fy is equal to 0, we can say S4 is equal to Hence, the answers are S1 is equal to S2 is equal to P and S3, S4 and S5 is equal to 0. These two are the answers for this problem. 